Okay. Have you tried a bathtub test? I, I'm not very sure how many of you have taken this bathtub test. If you attended my seminars earlier before, like six months, seven months, I've asked this particular question. But there's a reason for it. Uh, but let me ask you this question. Okay. So just imagine the bathtub is completely full. Okay. Which of the options would you use to empty the bathtub? You have three options in front of you a teaspoon, a teacup, and a bucket. The bathtub is no, it's completely full. Which option would you choose? You can choose only one option. Which one would you choose? Why did you choose bucket? Why did you choose the option called bucket? Why did you choose bucket? I know most of you chose bucket or you chose whichever options you had. Someone said quicker, <coughs> more quantity, lesser time, best option available in the options. Plug, exactly. Why? I think uh, out of say the people here, 10 of you got it correct. Why didn't you think of opening the plug? Opening the plug in this bathtub. Why? Why didn't you choose it? Most of you didn't choose it. It was not in the option. Exactly. Right. So if it's not in the option, does it mean that you have to go only with the options in front of you? Don't you have to search for the right options? How is this relevant to today's seminar? How is it relevant to today's seminar? Uh, with the impact of COVID-19. Can someone of you tell me why this is very important for you to look out, of, look out for more options, the right option for you in this current scenario? Think outside the box. Not think, it's not thinking outside the box. You're not, that's, the right answer is out somewhere else because the US is more affected. See, I'll tell you why. Because you are given less information. The information which we get also from the university is very varied. Every department in every university have different information about when they are starting it. So in front of you, you have only very limited options in front of you, but it may not be the right one. You may not, you might think, let me postpone my master's intake. Let me, let me see what happens for fall 2020. Let me, I'm very, it's very uncertain now. Should I go for fall 2021 or not? All this question will pop up and these are the end. You'll think these are options, only the options in front of you. Absolutely not. Okay, you have superb options in front of you. The right option will definitely pop up. You just wait. Okay, fall 2020 right now uh, it's happening. Okay, fall 2020 students are worried. Uh, they're very anxious. They are worried and thinking what to be done. Okay, uh, I understand the concerns and some of the universities are doing the best to accommodate more students and see what can be done. Okay, there are a lot of issues here in fall 2020, especially for uh, finally students. They can't get the course completion certificate uh, by the time many colleges start the working professionals can do the those students who are already graduated will have all the documents so it won't be an issue okay but for four for fourth year it can be an issue so so some universities in us and canada what they're doing is they're asking the and australia they're asking students to defer to the spring intake or the next available intake so the fall 2021 may not be that effective the spring 2021 will have a lot more seats a lot more uh, professors coming in usually for spring and fall I, I someone asked me a difference here i'll answer it here fall is where the largest intake all the courses will be open fundings will be there spring will have 30 percent of uh, the closest courses available in the university uh, the more core, core, core courses more uh, look for courses might be available in spring but most of the other niche programs or uh, some of the programs where a student may not join in spring will be closed but right now this spring 2021 will be very different uh, if a lot of students defer the admit to fall, uh, spring 2021 it will be very busy but if you ask me uh, will it have an impact on fall 2021 it is a long way to go uh, honestly it's a long way to go because you have to take a gre you have to apply for universities and you have to go to us only next year i don't think so in any of my uh, understanding so far fall 2021 guys uh, have any effect all you have to do is start use this lockdown in a very positive way. I know there's a very, uh, you know, uh, if I, I keep watching the news and I'm really anxious about the news. Okay, wherever I open social media news, talking to parents only about COVID and I'm panicking. And if a student has a dream of doing masters, the entire dream is, uh, you know, is actually, actually very, uh, you know, uh, shaky because too many students are worried in the same situation, news and what they're not sure what is happening the seniors have not gotten an offer letter the seniors actually don't understand what they are going to do in fall 2020. okay all this is happening all you have to do if you're fall 2021 student is that be patient 
you start your preparation for GRE, TOEFL, or ILTS, look out for your universities and we'll go forward. Okay, are we clear? Does it make sense for me to say this? Okay, some of, we have been posting questions on our Instagram page. If you're not yet, not yet joined our Instagram, please do follow us. Um, GRH official is a handle name. So some of the questions I'll answer. How are the admission going to be affected in fall 21 due to uh, COVID-19? Uh, I don't think so it will be affected. Okay, this is my opinion after doing the research and understanding what is going to happen. Fall 2021 admission wise, there's not going to be an effect. Is it scholarship won't be given at least for next two years? Uh, Summa had the question. I don't think so. Okay, none of the industry have said anything about it. See, in 2008, 2009, okay, if you, I'm not sure how many of you remember the recession in 2008, 2009. How many of you remember that? Eight years ago, so many of you would be in your uh, you know, ninth and tenths or less than that. Okay, so eight. Hey, uh, during that time, there was a complete recession. The economy was down. U.S. economy was down, especially. So what happened was, uh, did the university stop funding? Did the university stop giving funds? No. See, it's a 45 billion dollar industry. Okay, the education sector, according to U.S. Okay, uh, uh, from the from the international student, is a 45 billion dollar industry. Okay, in the industry of 45 billion dollars. Okay. Do you think uh, they'll stop getting students? See, scholarships one way to motivate a student. Scholarship is not about just giving money. It's also about giving an RA or DA or about, you know, uh, giving a tuition fee waiver. Some, you know, many university will opt for tuition fee waiver instead of giving you money. That is, instead of paying uh, $100,000, just give an example, $100,000. They'll say I'll give you 40% discount, John is $60,000. Okay, so it brings your cost down. Usually uh, the average education can be anywhere from $40,000 to $50,000. It can be more than that or less than that. So let's imagine if you have $40,000, they'll ask you to pay only uh, $26,000. It's a good gain if a 40% discount on your tuition fee. So tuition fee waivers also can be given instead of direct scholarship where money is given. So all these options are still available. I don't think so fall 2021 will have an issue for next two years because university will still be getting funds and uh, university should function only when the research is happening, uh, the sort of prototype which is given and a lot of industry will invest in you know, the university. So I don't think so funding will stop, but can be restricted, but it's not yet very clear yet, but I don't think so funding will stop. Should I give GRE if it's not required? Uh, if you're applying for 10 universities, and if all the 10 universities don't need GRE, you don't need to give it. But if you're applying for 10 university and two university doesn't need GRE and eight other sneeze, and of course you have to give it. I'm passing for 2021. When should I give go for GRE? So I'm going to answer that in a few more slides. Just be patient. Okay, don't repeat your questions. One request, guys, uh, please don't uh, you know, keep repeating your questions. I'll definitely answer that. Just be patient. Okay. Should I give GRE? Okay. Why most people choose USA but not Canada? Uh, the economy is very uh, no different in the USA and Canada. The life is very different. The uh, options you get in the US in terms of research or publications or universities. See, in Canada, the most of the economy happens in the border. US, uh, you know, US Canada border, most of the economy happens. But in the US, as such, all among the 50 states, at least 25 states where the economy is quite strong, there are enough universities and colleges. The number of universities in the US is far more than in Canada. There's one more option where students prefer to go to the US because they'll get reputed uh, profs, there'll be superb research. That means that they can have a superb understanding of a subject, good old and subject, and easily get a job. Okay. Uh, people go to Canada nowadays is main reason to get a PR. Okay. Uh, getting a PR is slightly far more easier uh, than, Canada, than US, but uh, eventually, if you got a good job and good, uh, if you get a good job and a good salary and a good company, you getting a PR in US may not be that difficult also. Okay, what kind of job should I expect if I complete my master? And will I get a job? This one worry is there for many students. Will I get a job after fall 2021? See, if the recession happens, one of you asked me a question here. Uh, if the recession happens, will I get a job? See, uh, what the UN has predicted or, you know, uh, World, World Bank has predicted is that by next year, uh, but maybe by June, July, next year, the economy should be back to stable. That means that within one year of your master's education, the economy will be stable and the jobs will be more by the time you graduate. After, if, by the time you finish your uh, education in 2023, 
okay um, you're going for fall 2020 and even before you go uh, economy will be back so 2023 i think it'll be a peak whenever there's a down there's a peak and you'll be getting a jobs in your peak so i don't think so that should be a worry it's again my assessment as of now doing my research if there are more uh, if there are more something like this i'll definitely answer it exactly um okay it won't be a week curve it, can, it will be a u curve so by the by the time you clear it okay i, I said a peak will start the u will start at least by let's say uh 2023 2022 23 by the time you clear you graduate i think most of you will be having a good job will germany start charging uh tuition fee in city see german is known for only one reason uh free education they won't charge you okay because the government is committed in that but what will they do is uh private universities are always charging they might take a fee uh but the competition can get heavier for germany and students can go to us that's one thing which can happen which already happens see uh students who actually apply to us will also apply to germany and whichever they get a good admit with good university they'll be going forward okay right i know you have questions please be patient please be patient i'll be answering it okay so will covid uh, affect admission for chances for fall 2021 this is slightly more different that the student are asked will there be any change in the acceptance rate for fall 2021 students see as i see okay how i see is that uh, if fall 2020 happen doesn't happen as the university sees and fall 20 uh, spring 2021 20, uh, not enough students join they may not they might give you a higher intake uh, acceptance rate can be slightly higher in fall 2021 but that means that uh, but they don't go lower the standards they'll see uh, if if they are actually uh, accepting under under professed those students who had similar profile who got cut out are in the under 215 rank they might also give an admit okay they can increase the seats in fall 2021 let's see and wait what happens <laughs> okay i think i answered the second one also can we write GRE for more? For India, it is not yet there enough. Uh, others who are asking for India, they are not yet launched a GRE for more. Uh, they, if they want, they can launch it because US is the biggest market and they have launched it for US. ETS have launched it for US, GRE and TOEFL. Uh, but um, ILTS, I think we still have to go there manually. They just shut down because the speaking session is face to face. They might do it online. To, uh, the speaking session also can happen in Zoom, but I'm not very clear. Let's wait. Okay, the biggest question is should we go to US or should we move to Canada? The economy is bad everywhere. Okay, if some if a country which can bounce back fast is US, if any country can bounce back is is US. Okay, and if any country can bounce back faster, it can be US because they already put in money. They already put two trillion dollars of economic relief package that has been announced. So the the easier option for any can any anyone to believe it should be easier the economy to bounce back is US. Uh, so Canada is also affected. Canada, you can't say Canada is not affected. It can be even more affected than any other country also. So I still say, look for your universities, look for the courses which you like and what you want to do and based on the selector course. Okay. How will be it? Okay. Uh, will two months be enough? Uh, two months be enough for a GRE preparation? I don't, uh, I will say according to your current standard, it might take. Uh, GRE students take anywhere from two months to uh, four, four and a half months to prepare continuously based on the level of preparation right now. Okay, can we expect more than normal competition fall 21? Maybe. Uh, fall students who are not going might go for fall 21. That can happen. Okay. I think I'll move on to a slide set. Uh, a lot of questions, but I'll move on to a slide set here. Okay. So, like I said, uh, ETS have actually announced uh, uh, GI test for more from these centers, not yet fathers, but that might change quickly because the US is a bigger uh, you know, market for them. If they're able to do it in the uh, US, they can do it anywhere else. Okay, so the one thing which you came for the timeline for, you know, uh, for, for you, which you must follow for fall 2021. Okay, so let's start with a profile. Can you guys tell me what actually is a profile? Can you tell me what are the details which are in the profile? Aesthetic, GPA, work experience, resume, right, okay, SOP, LOR, research papers, right, educational background, projects, extracurricular, textual representation as your person, that is SOP, right. Research papers, work experience, education details, online certificates, right, okay. 
most of you got it right. Uh, some of you haven't got one part right, or most of you haven't got one part right. Let's say undergrad university or college. How many of you believe your undergrad university or college will have a big impact? Okay, for Germany, yes. Uh, like uh, Subramaniam but said, for Germany, yes, it might have impact. Some of you, know, one university in particular says, if you're from IIT, you have a better chance of getting in, right? That's because they know that in order to get into IIT or NIT, so this plan is a competition is tough. But in the US, and uh, in most of the university in Canada, that's not a big impact. If you're from a good university, yes, you will have a brownie point, but it may not be a major impact, okay? So next question is work experience mandatory. Work experience is not mandatory, okay? Uh, only 32, 35%, maybe less than that, have work experience of all the students who go to US or Canada also. So that's not an issue at all, okay? It is not mandatory as long, see for example, some certain courses like data science, business analytics, if your work experience is good, if you don't have, if you have any other research paper, online courses, anything like, yeah, and a strong SOP, that can help you. Okay, we know for a factor, GRE and TOEFL score is very important. Okay, the GRE is very important for certain reasons here. Um, okay, how many of you feel that you have a very strong academic? Not me, not me, me. Okay, what is a good, the good question here is, what is a good academic score? Uh, let's say any, any GP about eight, any GP about eight. What is a good, uh, GPA, uh, a GP of nine or GP of 7.9? Two question, question here. GP of nine or 7.5? 7.9, which is a good GP? Okay, let me rephrase your question and ask you a question again here. Uh, depends on a major subject, Damik. Major subject as well as one more thing. Depends on a profile, doesn't it? Exactly, uh, but what profile it is. Uh, okay, let me rephrase the question and ask you. What is a good GPA? Nine in a private university, uh, decent rank or 7.9 in IITs, NITs, or Bisclanis, or any of the top notch private university. I am private. 7.9, of course. Right. See, it, it, it is actually one good thing about US is that they don't discriminate. Okay. They won't say that. There are universities, of course, which focus on GPA. Okay. Uh, university like, uh, you know, Arizona State University, uh, Purdue, Tamo in certain courses will focus on GPA. If certain student, uh, University of Southern California for certain subject, engineering subjects, not business science or business analytics or data science, but for engineering subject, they'll say, if you have a GP of eight, I'll consider it profile for next song. Okay. If even if you are less than sound point, if you have 7.8, they might reject your profile. Some university do that. But most university, let's say another 70% of university, will focus on your overall profile, which is put on your screen right now. Your academic, your research paper, your publication, your projects, your internship, your LOR, your work experience, other major aspects. Okay, I'll explain in quickly, I'll explain this, okay, because this is very important. Your yeah, SOP is very important. How many of you know what is an SOP? I think some of you answered me a question earlier, but what exactly is an SOP? Um, please explain in detail. I'm, I'll explain it. A written interview, exactly so many. Your yeah, written interview to know about what you are, why are you applying to university, why should a university give you an admit, what kind of uh, person they are, and why uh, would you select this university? They want to know about you. So yeah. SOP is aware, major, see, Many of our students don't realize this early in their admission process. Only when they join the admission process, in the SFA keeps admission SFA keep pushing them for SOP. But you have to be very aware about the SOP concept. The SOP is a break uh, for your profile. Even if you have low GPA, if you want to get into a superb university, SOP can help you. Because SOP is not just your factual details. It's also about your dreams and aspirations. What do you want to do? What have we done so far in life? How do you want to lead your life? What mistakes have we done and how do you want to rectify it? And how does the masters help you doing that? That is actually a role of an SOP and SOP can bridge your gap in many of the universities when it comes uh, uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, if you have a lower GPA, if you have a couple of backlogs, SOP can bridge that gap, okay? So ensure that you have a superb SOP and a strong SOP, a positive SOP, uh, and LOR, okay? So whatever you're writing in SOP will be authenticated or vindicated or validated by an LOR. So always make sure that you have a strong LOR, okay? Right, let me ask you um, one simple question here. What exactly is a GRE score? Good GRE score, according to you, what is a good GRE score? Still 40? 
very tough, but 310, 310, 310, about 320. What's a good GI score? About 320, 320. Go fall 2020, sort of. I'll try to cover most of the students of fall 2021, so that's why I'm trying to do it. Depends upon university and your profile. Correct, letter. Okay. So, what's a good GI score depends on your university requirement. So, many of our students don't know this. Okay. Let me ask you a question. What is a uh, average score or what's a uh, score needed for CMU for uh, MS in data science or MS in MIS? Three twenty-five. It's actually not that high. Okay, uh, even with three fifteen, you can get in, but you have to put a profile. But for engineering courses, computer science, or any of the top in the city, the competition side, for that you have to get a good score. Uh, any score is what any any good score is according to the university. You have to get in. Correct. Let it. But if if someone has similar profile like yours, but the only difference is that they have a three twenty-five and three twenty-eight, and you have a three ten. And then they might the university might pick a 328. Okay. So for a competition factor, you need to get a good score. Okay. You need to get a good score to beat your competition. And the competition is none, but are all your friends one that are similar. Okay. If you're getting a score like 325 and above, 320 and above, you have better chance of getting with a good industry. Beating the profiles which are similar to yours. Okay. Uh, people can do two publications with the same impact. Okay, we'll have the same impact score, but the GI score is different. That will bring your profile slightly more far more ahead, especially your quantitative score. Okay, does does it make sense what I'm saying? You know, why you need a strong GI score? Yes, no, faster. Okay, so okay. So next question is, how should I shortlist university? I'll go for it quickly. Go. I know that we have a couple of questions and after the timeline and we'll get started with the Q&A session. Okay. So how to shortlist university is a very tricky thing. Okay. Uh, I am a strong advocate of telling students that start your, uh, even if you're not starting your GRE preparations, you have to get started understanding which university you have to apply for. But my thing is, I know that students will be concerned here. Many of our students think like this. How many of you think like, let me write my GRE, let me see a score, then after that I'll take a decision on whether to go for G, uh, admissions or not. Only if you think like that. Let me take my GRE, if my score is good, then I'll go for admissions. If not, I'll drop it. Okay, the right uh, option here is no, but many of you are still saying me. But uh, I wouldn't ask you or think, make you think like that. See, I don't want you to think, okay, think if you have good score, uh, um, if I, have, if I don't have a superb score, I'll drop out. No, you actually have the understanding of the courses offered, the universities, what they're doing, what exactly they want. You might be a biotech student who don't need a very strong quantitative score. But if you're a competition student, you need a quant score, which is quite strong. A verbal may not be that high. So every university will have every decision. But what I say is, if you're looking for any of the top 50 university, your focus should be on a GI score right now. You yourself a very good GI score. Just focus and ensure that you get a score because you can beat the competition. And after that, when you shortlist university, look for the courses they offer. Okay. Uh, I won't go for the ranking of university as a major criteria. I'll use it as a dip test. If the rank of university is good, it is good. Okay. But I won't use that as a major criteria because some university, even with, uh, which is ranked 80 or 90, for your department, the research will be superb and extraordinary. For example, University of South Florida has a business analytics score, which is very popular and very good, but the ranking is not that high, but it's much more better than many of the top schools. Okay, so it, according to your industry, according to your selection, please go ahead and shortlist university. Don't go about shortlist university randomly. Okay, don't Google up and say top 10 universities. That's not for you. That's, that's for random top 10 universities. Of course, the research is good, but how can you get into your top 10? What is your top 10 universities? What you have to decide. Okay. So take your GRE, you will understand where you stand. And after that, if you start evaluating right now, it will be super. Let's do all this process right now, guys. Okay. I, I know that uh, there are too many things are here. I'll show you the timeline. But uh, internship, if you have if you have faculty profile, the internship uh, placement is all uh, more minute details of the industry may not be a big impact. But even if the internship or placement is not right, but the course is good, please go ahead and take it. Because the university, once you have a super background, the companies will take care of it.
Okay, the timeline for right now with the COVID situation, April, May, June, you should start your GRD preparation right now and finish off by June, July, okay? If you finish off in June, July, you will have September, October, August, September, October, November. Uh, in case you want to retake it, you can retake it. If not, you can start building a profile. Even now, you can start building and doing online courses, understand which university, what they'll offer. You can start doing a lot of uh, understanding about university, but start with your GRD preparation right now. Okay, your GRE preparation right now will help you to focus on your, uh, it will give you the time to focus on admissions in three, four months. Let's, let's imagine that uh, we get over with one of the biggest tests and the rest of the thing is to focus on admission, which university, what, what you have to do and that, that needs time. Okay, people usually think, let me stretch as much as possible, I do my admission last two months. No, it may not be enough. You might need to write a SOP. Uh, last year, if, uh, if just imagine if you join your admission counseling, the last minute if you have come for SOP, uh, there'll be a lot of details to put in. You may not have enough time to review the SOP, rework your SOP, so you have to start focusing on it. Uh, an ideal time to write an SOP would be two months. Okay, ideal time. So for giving yourself enough time to write two months. But do you get your time if you have a GRE preparation, TOEFL preparation? You may not get it. So get your GRE and TOEFL done, get a super score, beat the competition. Always beat the competition and keep a score which can be really high. Because like I said, uh, not all universities will look for academics. The other universities which don't look for academics look for a quantitative score to prove that you are very strong in analytics because that is what is needed in master. Are you able to analyze the situation? Are you able to understand the situation is what is needed in masters? Okay, like I said, everything starts with your GRE score. I'll give it, I'll take two minutes to just update this method which we use in GRH, learn practice feedback, okay? All you have to do is you have to start something learn. You can't leave with something just by learning. It won't work for GRE, especially GRE. You have to practice it and get a feedback. Our SFAs will give you a timely feedback on your performance, how to improve your performance. Whenever you take a test, whenever you get a feedback, you'll understand where did we make a mistake. So you go back and learn. It's a closed loop technique. Okay, we use the technique to make sure students, students get a really, really high score in our GRE and and have a boost of you know GI score. If, if you can see the graph, you know you can see the difference in when they join, how they join. There's actually a score boost of eight to nine points uh, after they take GRE if they previously taken GRE. So ensure that you take your GRE as early as possible. Follow the closed loop method. Okay, this even if you don't join the admission uh, GRE training program with uh, GRE is fine. But follow this method. Learn. Practice, get a feedback. Learn, practice, get a feedback. That is where you be making make sure that, okay, see the technique is not new. All this uh, one subject is 10 standard subject. All you have to do is, is to practice it more, understand why you're making mistake, see where you're making mistake. If you're taking too much of time, why are you taking too much of time? How to improve it? So you always get a feedback. Learn, practice, and get a feedback, okay? Right, so get your GRE, start with the GRE. Right now, don't wait any time. Um, okay, I have SOP ready in shortly, so max, max, when can I take my GRE for 2021? I still say June, July, because you can retake your exam if at all you feel the score is not up to your mark, Adesh. How exactly to know if faculty profile is good? Good question. How do you know it? Every university website will uh, show information about what kind of uh, uh, profs there are, what kind of uh, what kind of prof there are and uh, what kind of research paper they have published. If you go through the research paper, you will understand, okay, this person is writing a lot of research paper. One more method to understand they are good profs or not is how many PhD candidates they have. If they have good number of PhD candidates and if the data is published, that also means that the prof is good. That's one or two background matter. For some of the top industry, it doesn't matter. So Udemy courses are very useful, not to a great extent, but you can show, the, show them that you have interest, but it's not academics, right? Okay, uh, my GP is 8.9, done A to level with the electric vehicle and forces experience. Uh, TMU course good, TMU good. It is good, your GP is quite good, Jetim. You can definitely give it a try. Have a, I think you have a good GI score. TMU, uh, may, uh, some uh, department might need a strong GI score, so you want. Michael, I'll say GRE, uh, anything about 3, 320 will be good because just to be the competition. 
happily for passman no matter fair but it's not happening uh, not yet come it is a regional offer to stem off the next since june i may hear in july 28 and the passman will not come what should i do um, uh, south uh, south check i think a passman will come june 28 is long time to go the passman will definitely come if not you can postpone it okay our process is process just like we me what are same how long prepare file case i will say one and a half one month Will be a good time on one and a half months, depending on your level of depression. Some of the students take from one month to two months. I have low GPA, but GIS for three years. Can I get a good scholarship? Uh, Nishan, you have to do a superb admission counseling. Uh, admission, uh, you know, uh, proper shortlisting of university is what I'm saying. Because when you do proper shortlisting of university, you understand which university will accept a good score like this and it's uh, okay GIS score. That means the SOP should be very strong. Start focusing on SOP. <coughs> Um, okay, uh, any, any, and it's good GPA is a must for top university. Not necessarily, if you have a decent score, it's fine. I've seen CMU getting in, uh, people getting into CMU with low GRE, uh, low GPA. I've seen people getting into, uh, let's say, Tamu or uh, University of Texas Austin in certain department, low GPA, no. But to be the competition, it is necessary. <clears throat> Uh, what is the good GI score for technical in Germany? Uh, I say 320 and above, video competition. If you apply for, a, see, Jatin, uh, you have to know for Germany, a lot of high and high IIT students apply. That means that you have, in order to video competition, you have to get a really good score. Uh, it is for, taken for granted that IIT and NIT students will score right, especially public science and mechanics, a lot of both courses. So you have to get a 328, 329 kind of a score or above that. I'm from VIT and um, passed out in 17, 8.1, one published paper, three years experience. So profile sounds good. Yes, it sounds good, MJ. I'm not going into short testing a profile, then this will go in that direction. Anything with regards to COVID or anything with regards to uh, gender questions, yes. I have, don't have research published, but I've done research work. Will it affect my profile? No, your SOP should be a very strong Roshini and your GRE score. Is Germany good for CS? Uh, decent enough. People prefer for automobile and uh, mechanical too. Uh, sort of, what is your question? I am not able to see a question. There are a lot of questions coming in. Uh, my GPA is 6.2. I have 18 years experience. Uh, IT, not taken Jerry. San Jose State 6.2. Uh, okay. Uh, it can be tough with 6.2, but still, if you have 315 plus kind of score, you can give it a try. Should I start online courses for Paul Pridati for industry allows set? Uh, one or two courses, yes. Because even in the US, then they can provide one or two courses online. But not a complete course, but one or two courses is fine. Our internship not going to be offered during summer internship. Uh, next year can be tricky, but it's just for two months, I think. Uh, but I think they'll still continue. People need job. People need uh, uh, cheap labor, if I can put that in, uh, term there. So internships are for that. <clears throat> OK. Um, can you suggest me some online courses for profit? I won't suggest online courses. I will say uh, research. Okay, I, I will not get done my research on that. Uh, so I'm not answering the question. Research and answer you that will be good. Um, okay, I should, I have a GPA of 6.94. What score should I target? Not to get in a good school for MBA. 6.94 MBA may not matter if you're in engineering, but uh, 325 plus should be a good score. Uh, how much online courses add value? It's a decent. I won't say complicated because um, online courses and what's the result of doing the online courses matters a lot. Have you done in research paper, publications, stuff like that matters a lot. Okay, um, is a research paper mandatory for getting a good industry? Not at all. I've seen students without uh, good, uh, you know, research paper or research itself getting into top schools. Uh, good GRE scores can help you that. Or your strong SOP might also help you that. Again, depends on every university at that point of time, but still it may vary department to department. Uh, I have 8.3 and how much should I try to score in uh, masters in economics, GRE. Okay, anything in GRE, I see. You ask me a question, what's a good score? I'll still say what's the university is needed, but to beat your competition, you need a 325 plus, 320 plus kind of a score in general. Is internship mandatory? Not necessarily. Um, let me, I'm really sorry, I'm, not, I'm missing your questions here. Can I take GRE date based on passport? Can I take it? See, you need, see, it is suggested that I will suggest you like this. Even though it is not mandatory to have a passport to book your GRE date, 
I will say our passport then book is there because the name on the passport, the name on the account should be exact same. If there's any discrepancy, they'll ask him not to take the exam. Okay, your money will be lost. So wait for the passport, and after you get that, and if you are very sure the names on the passport will not be a mismatch at all, then go ahead. Otherwise, wait for your passport, get it, and. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm trying to. Choose one question here. There's a lot of question. Is individual sports and generic quantum verbal matters? Yes, it matters. Okay, uh, especially in some schools where you go for data science courses or machine learning or computer science, your quantitative score should be really good. Okay, 168, 169 can be a good score. Of course, there's no other score apart, apart from 170 about that, but anything more than 168 will be a good score. Okay, uh, if I apply for US, UK, GRE. Uh, I compulsory for U US, but we work for UK. I have to give IELTS anyway. Say so IELTS TOEFL is very different from GRE. If you're going for only for US, take GRE and TOEFL. If you're going for US and other countries, take GRE and IELTS. Most of the university in US accept IELTS. Do all in. Okay, I answered the question. Uh, what's a good score in GRE for German university? I think I've answered 325 about to beat the competition. Uh, look at, I'm really sorry, I'm not able to find a question. A lot of questions here. Uh, I got a GPA, a GTA worth $19,000 in Colorado State, and it's nine months. We recommend Colorado State for which course? Uh, I will definitely recommend you. Uh, Colorado State University is what decent school. Definitely go for it. And I say, yeah, Colorado State is quite good. Uh, what's the GI uh, GI score, uh, Ramya? For MBA score, this quant is for him. Uh, take it up, uh, Ramya, stay if you ask me. Uh, for MBA, if my quant score is extremely high, then what would be a minimum verbal score? Uh, there's no minimum, but most of the industry will ask you to take 155 and above in your quant, in your verbal part. Okay, um, um, I'm just working for a moment. I'm not able to find a bottle here. Just give me a minute. I have some water. Does COVID-19 affect fall 2020 for admission? Yes, it might. We are still waiting what is going to happen in Germany, fall 2020. See, US, they are actually entertained for fall 2020 itself. So let's see what. OK. Um, do online courses add value to CS, MS, and CS? See, it will show that you have learning and give us a refill. See, what the university expect you to do is, the subjects which you are learning in the university should be quite strong. For example, if you are learning Java, C, C++, everything in the university, that should be quite strong. You don't need to do the same course online. If you're doing something else regarding R or something which is not yet taught in college, then it can show that you have interest and learning capacity. My degree completed in June 2019 is a good time to start preparation for Please get started right now. Don't even wait for the degree to be completed. Uh, can a mechanical student get admitted into courses like machine learning? Yes, you can. House industry and engineering in US is good. Uh, let's see what happens. But supply chain management, industry engineering will have a big impact now. Will be quite positive also if the industries like because Trump was pushing for making America process. The sound backlog affect uh, GRE. Uh, affect yes it does uh, decent GRE score may not compensate completely but it can help you in some universities by getting 315 318 are both kind of a score uh, what's the pros and cons of MS Europe Netherlands C's are very limited okay that's a con uh, competition is very high again a con uh, but uh, cost of education is less so that's a positive uh, jobs may not be as high as US so that's a con Okay. Will there, will GI preparation be sufficient for ITS? They are completely different. Okay, if you have a strong hold on subject, yes, but again, it's completely different. People do take GRE and ILTS preparation. Um, what are the chances of getting admission for spring 2010 having having a GI score less than 300? There are universities which are available for less than 300. If you have time, retake it. You have time for it, so please go ahead. Okay, not related to COVID, but university in six semester cancel up to eight semester because we sent six semester March in normal. Okay, see there are some universities like UD Dallas who wanted to sound semester March also sometimes, not all departments, but yes, 
the university will decide based on six months of March is not seven and eight. So it may not have a big impact, but getting your eight semester March sheet completion certificate is very important. That might be delayed. What's the best time to give GRE for fall 2021? Whenever you're ready. Okay, that's a very cheeky answer, I know. But uh, technically, uh, you should be done by June, July, if you're ready. If again, take your GRE only if you're ready. Mechanic engineer scope in Canada and what state? Uh, I'm not. Ambeta can be a good option, but uh, mechanic industry, uh, Canada, I'm not exactly that sure yet. Will the Germany and US are good options? With more number of certification help to get good admission. So more than certification research or publications might help you get it. Whose syllabus are to be considered strong? Those professors or manager and whom you have worked under or studied under, who knows your who knows what you've done well. And if they have a PhD degree, it might be a boost. Karthik, I'm really sorry I'm missing questions here. A lot of questions here. Uh, spring deferral uh, one semester online, will it be which will be good? Uh, and that's a very complicated question. I'll do a research and come back. Uh, maybe I'll do a seminar in next two weeks. Before the lockdown, I'll do a seminar on that. Should I accept a spring deferral or should I go for one, one semester on it? I'll do it because that needs research. I can't just add up the answer. That was a thought process there. What kind of university can I get with a 7K back of 324? Uh, see, I've seen, I'm, as top 50 or so, you can try. Again, which course, everything matters. See, I'm not going into that because the, and there's almost seminar today. Uh, if you're able to log into GRH, there's a profile evaluation seminar. Okay, you can log into grh.com. There's a seminar where they, I think Ms. Deveta is going to answer your questions on the profile. You can put in your profile completely, then she'll say how good the profile is, and they can also suggest to universities. So do log in for the seminar. Today is at 8.30, that is why I'm getting things to close my seminar here. Okay, so I'll I'll take a few more questions and I'll, I'll stop the seminar because the seminar starts at 8.30, uh, do log in. <coughs> Will there be competition for spring 2021? That can be, that can be. Uh, when should I apply in this year for GA test uh, if I want to apply in June, July? Right now you can do it. If the days are open, you can do it. I have your passport with you. Good sir. Uh, I may know the best college for MS in my years having two years experience. Okay, I'm going. This is short listing. The seminar at 8:30. But since I've taken your question, Talon, go for universities uh, like Arizona State, or uh, University of Arizona, uh, South Florida, Southern Methodist. Uh, I'm not sure the GRE score. You need a good GRE score. Uh, 8.7. You can actually uh, Tom also can be a good option. See, again, I'm not going to short listing of university. That's a seminar right now, which is at 8:30. You can log into that. Go to grh.com and register for a seminar. Uh, will there be a problem for visa process due to recession? No, I don't think so. There can be delay in visa because of COVID, recession, and that may not have a big impact. All you have to do is to show stronger finance, they'll grab you because they need money. Okay, I said, uh, I said in VIT. Uh, I said in VIT got 8.47, no publication, one year experience. Again, shortlisting, okay. Uh, but uh, one lakh dollars can I get in the good university? Yes, you can. I'm do again shortlisting. I'm not taking questions on shortlisting. Please log into 830 seminar. That's a seminar only for shortlisting. You can get your profile to evaluate it. This is a vast uh, saga. I'm really sorry, Sagar. Uh, there's a lot of questions. Uh, again, still, usually there'll be under students here after for QA. There was actually 250 students, so too many questions, Sagar. I'm really sorry. Okay, I'll do one thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm the ones who are answering questions on Instagram. So if you have any question, do message us on Instagram. I'm sending you our official. official. Okay, I think I'm putting the spelling correct. Okay, me and my teams are asking questions on Instagram uh, throughout this lockdown period. So please go to Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I'll give you one more letter. Okay, please tell me you got the JRH ID, JRH official. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for a wonderful seminar. I think a lot of you came in, so very surprising, but uh, uh, I think I want you to do only one thing, start your GRE preparation, get started no matter what, focus on it because fall 2021, forecast and see, there'll be a lot of people, we have to beat the competition, so start right now.